what's good on youtube welcome back to another video um hope everybody is going well uh here with another vlog you know wanted to let people know what i use on my drug car especially tires and how i get them to you know work for me as before i was complaining that you know it was hard to find tires that could take the power that would prevent the whole ballooning situation and stuff well now uh, here i am you know with my own DIY. I must say I got this trick from Doug's Garage, big up yourself Doug, for making this vlog, making the vlog that you made on your channel. If you guys don't know the channel, go and check it out and subscribe and everything. But yeah, he I watched a video with him doing it with this tape. So as you can notice with this type of tape it has some little um things inside of it which basically helps the tape to be stronger and um, yeah it actually helps it's like like threading inside of the tape sort of I don't know if you can see it yeah it's a, yeah it's like threading so what I did different than what I saw him do is that I actually instead of one time going around the rubber with the tape I went I went two times so I wrapped it twice instead of one and that you know now comes to give me a perfect tire with no ballooning and can handle good amount of power however the only drawback with what i did and my concept is that it makes the tire a little bit heavier especially with the with now the rotation but i also feel that with a little heavier rotation of the tires it might you could have said dumb down some of the excess rpm and the excess wheel spin in which no would probably not give you better contact with the road to go forward uh i see some sort of change in it since i have done that you know it's just that you can hear a little bit that you know the tires are a little bit you know heavy with the tape inside of it just a little bit just a little bit so therefore you know not worried about that i did strip my first reinforce um spur gear uh actually for the life of me i don't remember where i put it i don't even remember if i threw it away i'm hoping that i didn't throw it away i don't know probably i did but yeah it actually got stripped not too happy about that and this is the pinion gear from the aftermath of it as you can see it's smoothed out yeah it basically not looking at any teeth at all Let's see if i can use it to focus well then see all uh, stripped out so you know just a word to the wise whoever have these type of cars please if you're gonna run these cars make sure that you maintain them and pull them down probably every 10 runs to make sure that everything is doing well and fine because I'm telling you this is the second time I see it happen and now I come to the conclusion that it will it is definitely a case where once your spur gear no your pn gear is stripped it will strip out your spur gear so here's the car again um did a little change to the front and everything made it lighter put a smaller battery inside of it so this one is really really small but it is still spooling the motor as you can see I went back to put in the 6.5 turn motor inside of it because um, the 8.5 I had it for a little while and I realized now that it's actually kind of burnt out so I kind of you know swap it back but if anything and I'm, and I'm at a race meet or anything I can always go ahead and you know shift it back to that motor if anything so yes guys um, just giving you guys an update on that want to make sure that you know anybody that is running this type of model can have some insight because to be honest not everybody is going to make a video or even go ahead and do a full-on review or, or, or showcase the findings that they find with these cars or any build for that matter but really this car in particular so yeah if you're gonna run this car and do what i do for a drag car make sure that you maintain the car every time you make a few pulls especially if you have the car up on high power 
and yeah so i have really soft tires that i run it, this one is double belted as well double taped i just didn't put the inside foam inside of it so trying that out tried it out but with less power i feel like it will be a little bit better i had some power on it but you know it was a bit too much for it so for this one again this one the, the foam is inside of it sorry the sponge with the tape so this one's a little bit um you could say stiff or you say firm i would say and yeah i've been running these for a good little while now but i'm gonna go back to the soft ones to see how everything um plays out but you know like share subscribe and join the movement i'm gonna have some new content coming up soon